Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Sorry if you heard that, I was messing with my mic. But, in this one, as I said earlier, earlier I said something about me, um, making, and, let me start this again. <laughs> earlier I said something about, um, me making Charles Bowl or Charles Bolton, or Black Bart in Red Dead Online, as well as single player. So, let's get right to it. Now, this one I sadly did not manage to nail that well, due to not having access to a, um, a burlap sack mask thing like he wore. But, based purely off the picture, this is the best attempt I could do. Now, for hats, you're gonna want to throw on the Western Hamburg hat in black. I wish it came in a clean color. Sadly, it doesn't, but it's fine. There's probably another hat or two that you can go with, like uh, the bowler hat might work, but it just didn't look good in my eyes for it. Don't know why I expected the. Uh, the sack to show up there. Um, for neckwear, you're going to want to throw on the black dress tie. Same as in the other video. For coats, same thing as last time. Black classic frock coat. But you do have a couple more options in the line. For example, you could go with the Antoin and this jacket if you wanted to. Um, it doesn't actually look that bad for it. You could also throw on, if you wanted to, um, this actually almost works. If you have the morning tailcoat and you want to show it off, you could go with that. Doesn't look that bad with it. Or, you can go with the shotgun coat in as close to black as you can find. Um, next, for vests, you have three options, probably. The Rex Road vest, if you wanted it, you want to throw a little bit more color in it. He doesn't wear one like that in the picture. I went with the double-breasted lapel vest, because it looks as close as I can probably get to the picture. But, if you wanted to, I don't remember what it's called. It's a... It's the only other double button vest though. So really know what I'm talking about. Um for shirts, I just throw on the French dress shirt because it looked the best. Um either of the two in white would probably work. But I want this one because it just looked better in my eyes. Um no spenders, no gauntlets, no gloves, no rings, no belts. To be honest, for buckles and weapons equipment, dealer's choice because he doesn't actually wear weapons equipment. Let me rephrase that. He does not actually wear a bandolier or gun belt. Oddly enough, he didn't actually even, he did carry a shotgun, but he never loaded it. And he actually managed to get most people to give him what he wanted because he'd stick stick sticks through bushes at various points to make it look like there was a bunch of gun barrels sticking at the stagecoach. And he was like yelling to people who weren't really there and all that. Pretty entertaining um, in the video I actually watched about him. But for pants, you're going to want to throw on the tuxedo pants in black. No shaps, boots, I just threw on the gaiters in black again and no spurs because he didn't ride a horse now let's head on over to the uh, to the barber shop and I'll show you what hair I'm using this is what I meant by I probably nailed it better in online there's an item here and I don't know where it is I'll find that after I finish making the video cool aid man hello he is not Russian. 
and he kind of looks like a ripoff version of Agent Ross. For here, most of the part, mostly um, dealer's choice, so long as it's not long, and it looks like something a gentleman would have. I just went with the neat left parted because I figured it looked best, and I went with it in gray to match in color 13 to match the beard. I don't actually believe that the pomade actually does anything or does much to change it. So, like for uh, mustaches, I'll just tell you all the ones I think would work. I want the walrus because it matches the mustache the most in the picture. But if you wanted to, I guess you could also go with the uh, the barkeep maybe. Not sure how much this one would work, but. I could see it working possibly. Looks makes him look like Sam Elliott. Um, let's scroll on down. Can't really use any of those two. I don't think you could. You probably can't use this. It looks too much like the mouse from Tom and Jerry, that with the guitar. C -c 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 Crambo. <laughs> but yeah, I just went with the walrus because it looked best. And it looked closest to the picture. Ow. E. Now, while I'm searching for this thing, I'm just going to go ahead and l tell you a couple other facts about Black Bart that I figure are pretty cool. One of them, he's actually only been shot twice during his robberies, I believe. He only got shot twice during his robberies, if I'm remembering correctly. One of them actually hit him in the head, and it was with buckshot from a shotgun. It grazed his head, and he was sitting in a uh, restaurant or somewhere in, I think, San Francisco. And his head started bleeding. And, uh, yeah. Pretty sure I had a bit of a panic attack at that point. And another, t another time he got shot was actually the thing that led him to being arrested. Was uh, someone shot him and he ended up dropping a handkerchief when he went down. And when he dropped that handkerchief, it had a um, laundry mark on it. You know, like, it shows him... It, it's like a mark that people find on their laundry that shows uh, where it's been made or whatever. And the men to go back to the laundromat and they straight up led him led the detective for Wells Fargo straight to um, Black Bart's house in San Francisco and they um, an assistant led him led Black Bart straight into Wells Fargo's office and then the detective walked in and he got caught and another interesting thing, he actually did not rob anyone other than the Wells Fargo company itself. He only took the lockbox. He didn't take, like, the passenger's items. In fact, one of the passengers threw out their, or threw out her um, purse or whatever, her handbag, to try to uh, survive. He actually gave it back to her and said, I do not want this. I do not want miss. Or something like that. I'm paraphrasing. And, uh, yeah. He is... Pretty interesting to look up on. The thing is, every single robbery he did... Or, not every single one, but, like... Later on, he started actually leaving poetry for the detectives. Kind of mocking them. But yeah. Thank you guys for watching. Um, I'd really love the channel to grow, so like, share, and subscribe, and uh, have a good one.